See, I have God for my help. The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice to you with a willing heart and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. You are the Savior of the world, Lord have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. For Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. The children of Israel set out from Elam and came into the desert of Sin, which is between Elam and Sinai, on the fifteenth day of the second month after their departure from the land of Egypt. Here in the desert, the whole assembly of the children of Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The children of Israel said to them, Would that we had died at the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt as we sat by our flesh pots and ate our fill of bread. But you had to lead us into this desert to make the whole community die of famine. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will now rain down bread from heaven for you. Each day the people are to go out and gather their daily portion. Thus I will test them to see whether they follow my instructions or not. On the sixth day, however, when they prepare what they bring in, let it be twice as much as they gather on the other days. Then Moses said to Aaron, Tell the whole congregation of the children of Israel, Present yourselves before the Lord, for he had heard your grumbling. When Aaron announced this to the whole assembly of the children of Israel, they turned toward the desert, and lo, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, I have heard the grumbling of the children of Israel. Tell them, in the evening twilight you shall eat flesh, and in the morning you shall have your fill of bread, so that you may know that I the Lord, am your God. In the evening, quail came up and covered the camp. In the morning, a dew lay all about the camp. And when the dew evaporated there on the surface of the desert were fine flakes like hoarfrost on the ground. On seeing it, the children of Israel asked one another, What is this? For they did not know what it was. But Moses said to them, This is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. The word of the Lord. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. They tempted God in their hearts 
by demanding the food they craved. Yes, they spoke against God, saying, God, spread the table in the desert. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Yet he commanded the skies above and the doors of heaven he opened. He rained manna upon them for food and gave them heavenly bread. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Man ate the bread of angels, food he sent from the abundance. He stirred in the east wind in the heavens, and by his power brought on the south wind. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. And he rained meat upon them like dust, and like the sands of the sea, winged fowl, which fell in the midst of their camp, round about their tents. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Alleluia, alleluia. The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep, and when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, just uh, kind of a briefer note today, but in the in the first reading, there is this word grumbling, uh, which which can be translated a, a you know a couple of different ways. But really, probably the best English word is grumbling. Complaining doesn't quite get at that visceral sense of, uh, uh, you, know, you know, there's complaining, but then there's some, uh, you know, it's a certain ineffable something, almost childlike in its, uh, you know, in its, well, it's grumbling, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. You know, and we can look at that first reading and say, all right, let's, you know, we need to, let's look at them kind of judgmentally, you know, and say, boy, these people were just freed from Egypt. You're only two months into this experience of freedom. God is leading you out through Moses and Aaron, and uh, people are already saying, you know what, I wish you just left us back there. You know, it was better than this, that's for sure. And so they're grumbling, looking for food, they're stuck in the desert, right? Um, you know, so we could have that perspective and, and kind of look down on them, even though I, you know, I grumble all the time, sure. Uh, you know, but then you think of the Lord's Prayer, Right? That old gem, that chestnut, right? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. It's hard to do it alone. You ever notice that? It's easier when there's other people saying, uh, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, right? What did Jesus say before he gave us that prayer? He said, I, I'm going to teach you. Know, they said, teach us how to pray. So he said, all right, I'll teach you how to pray. And among, within that prayer, give us this day our daily bread. Right, it's 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 a pretty stern request. Um, so, to some degree, in in as much as that's true, we have a bit of permission for our grumbling. In other words, God w wants us to to need Him. God wants us to be able to say, I, I, "I'm not doing great here. I need something. I need food. I need you to sustain me because I don't have all the stuff within me that it takes to get by, right? I'm in this desert. I, I need you. Um, God wants that kind of reliance from us. 
So insofar as that's true, we can kind of look a little more favorably on our friends in the first reading and say, you know what, it's more than okay to ask for your daily bread. It's more than okay to ask for sustenance. Uh, God wants us, God made us as children. It's, it's okay just to be that. Let us pray to our loving Father who hears and cares for all of our needs. We pray for the church that we may not uh, fear to ask God, our Father, our loving Father, for everything that we need. We pray to the Lord. We pray for uh, those who lead us in our society that they would have a special care for the material needs of the poor in particular. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are ill, for all who suffer in mind, in body, and spirit. Pray for those suffering from mental illness and from addiction. We pray to the Lord. For the intention of this Mass, for the repose of H. Richard Hiller, and for all who have gone before us in faith and those who mourn, we pray to the Lord. Let's take a moment to call to mind all our prayers in our hearts in silence. We pray to the Lord. We ask you, O loving Father, to hear our prayers. We make them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O 
O God, when the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each is offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For though you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. I'll meet you out in the back, all right? 